Hi guys, 18 Dapper here and welcome to episode 5 of the Honeymoon Vlog. As you can see, the sun is just rising very early in the morning. We are out on our fifth, uh, fourth and final excursion. Um, so we're looking forward to this one. We'll bring you along with us. I hope you have enjoyed the series so far. We thoroughly enjoyed our time here in Mauritius and hopefully that continues today and we see some dolphins. Let's go. Whoa! Like oh, a flying fish. We're off on it.
These fix the dolphins up. Oh, incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Different level, wasn't it? Tortoises? Giant turtles. Yeah, turtles, and we've seen giant, giant tortoises, haven't we? Um, we just had a quick drink now, you are magic juice, haven't you? I've just had a beer. Uh, we've been snorkeling, which was very, very nice. What? Uh, yeah, it was only a little bit. Um, but yeah, snorkeling. I'm not the only one for snorkeling and getting underwater, but that was really nice compared to the speedboat the other day. Yeah. Um, the current wasn't too bad. You could get your head under and see loads of fish. It was really nice, wasn't it? So yeah, really enjoyed this so far. Um, not sure what the rest of the excursion entails, but it's been fantastic morning so far. Um, we are off. We're off. You enjoying it? Good stuff. Mermaid. Bye. 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 Nice, isn't it? So we are now in a little bit of the lagoon um, to see Crystal Rocks, which is a really impressive rock formation, isn't it? Um, not sure how, quite how it's happened. Obviously, the erosion. Yes. Yeah, it's very, very nice. So we'll turn you around. You can see that. Are you enjoying yourself? I love it. Bloody lovely. <laughs> hey. Ah. Right. This is it. Thank you. So we are on an island, absolutely fantastic. I've got coconut full of rum as well as coconut water. Probably more rum than coconut water to be fair. Um, straight to my head, but yeah, a fantastic um, excursion so far. Overwhelming seeing dolphins, and once again, I was overwhelmed seeing the monkeys, the macaques. Couple of, couple of excursions back and just see animals in their natural environment. I don't know, it just it, it gets me. It's nice. Um, and yeah, it was it, it was inexplainable. I, I can't I can't put it into words how 
fantastic it was to see to see dolphins swimming in the ocean and, and, and obviously the monkeys in the in the trees. So I'm just really grateful um, for a fantastic honeymoon in a beautiful country. Um, yeah, the weather's been a bit hit and miss at our resort, and I think you get that at a tropical island. You're going to get you're going to get rain, but it's been really warm and just a really really nice experience. So I'm gutted that it's coming to an end. Um, in a couple of days, but yeah, we're just going to make the most of the last few days. I'm going to continue drinking my uh, copious amounts of rum with coconut water, uh, and we have got a barbecue on this island, and I think it's lobster, so I'm looking forward to that. So we'll show you that and whatever else this excursion entails, and then we've got a couple of days left at the resort just to catch the last few rays of sun um, and just enjoy ourselves before we get back to the grind that is everyday life so yeah gonna enjoy this little eyes are poking out <laughs> Why do you attract animals? <laughs> I just see them and pick them up. <laughs> This view takes my breath away every single day. Does it you? Yeah, we don't need this view. <laughs> this view's alright and all. Not quite as good as this view though. <laughs> but you can't marry that view. I've married that one. How lucky you are. <laughs> so we are now back at the hotel and I feel like I've definitely caught the sun today. A uh, fantastic excursion, managing to see dolphins in their natural habitat and a turtle swimming as well. So hopefully I've captured that on the camera because I've kind of looked around the camera, over the camera, through the camera um, and just pointed and pressed and just hoped for the best. So if we caught it, happy days. But yeah, we're back at the hotel, got some pancakes now. Um, just before we go back to the room, get showered, get cleaned up and um, out for dinner at the buffet. And we've just booked for our favourite a la carte restaurant for one one more evening uh, and that was Lord de Sab so you'll get to see that uh, towards the end of this vlog because we've got a couple of days of just chilling out now 
Um, we've got the barbecue over at the island, so that's somewhere new that you guys haven't seen yet. It's somewhere new that we haven't seen yet. Um, been here for two weeks and it's his first day over there tomorrow. So yeah, we're looking forward to that. But yeah, fantastic excursion um, out with Gino on the speedboat. Um, yeah, can't, can't fault it. Fantastic. So we're going to fill his face with pancakes and then go for dinner. So yeah, more food. You've been lucky. All you've seen is food. <laughs> Oyster fan, how was your uh, sea urchin? Still have it here. Have you not had that yet? I thought you'd have I had some of it, it's just a bit. Alright, on that. <laughs> not a fan of the oyster. So we're on to our second to second to last full day. Yeah, second to last full day. Um, and the only thing we've got booked in today is a barbecue on the private island which is part of the resort but you just need to book on and, and get the boat across so we're looking forward to that, it's the first time we've been on the island so somewhere new to explore a little bit so looking forward to that um, we've already been for breakfast, it's just on 9 o'clock the first boat over to the island is at 11 so we're just going to go out, find a decent spot for a couple of hours to catch a few more rays and then we will take you over to the island and see what what's what over there, I don't think there's that much happening over there to be honest but we will have a look and have a day over there and then um, buffet tonight isn't it? Yeah we're back at the buffet tonight yeah. but we've booked in booked into to the a la carte on Wednesday so yeah buffet tonight so we will take you on our final couple of days chilling out at this amazing resort which I'm sure we will be back on um, probably our 10 year anniversary or something maybe we will see, but yeah, really enjoyed the honeymoon. Um, 
feel really grateful for the stuff that we've seen, the monkeys, the dolphins, the turtles, the giant tortoises, um, and everything else. It's been really, really good. So, yeah, last couple of days, going to be sad to leave, but also happy that we got here, I think. Yeah. But, yeah, let's go and enjoy the final couple of days. I don't know if I'm, uh, if I'm capturing it, Vic, but <laughs> <laughs> there is two fish in there, honestly. <laughs> I don't know how you've caught them, but you have. <laughs> oh, we're just quicker than them. Flamboyance. Oh.
last lunch. Very sad. You enjoyed your honeymoon? Good fish with rice. Yes. Who feeds the animals? They're all looking in one direction. Yo. <laughs> so we're just getting ready for our final evening meal here in Mauritius on our honeymoon and it has been fantastic. Really, really enjoyed the two weeks. It's uh, The first week seemed to go quite steady and every time I looked at the like as itinerary I thought yeah I've got ages and then the second week was just absolutely flown by and I don't want it to end now um, but yeah really thoroughly enjoyable honeymoon um, and to finish it off we have booked into the a la carte at Lord de Sab, uh, which is a beach restaurant once again um, so yeah looking forward to that so I'm gonna show you what we have tonight I think I'll change it up from what we had last time but yeah one final meal a la carte um, and then a drink and some entertainment so let's start rounding this vlog off soup Last breakfast. So we've just had our final breakfast, haven't we? Of our honeymoon. And yeah, just rounding this up. Um, thoughts? Thoughts? Thoughts on our honeymoon? I've, I've really enjoyed it. I think it's been a fantastic country, a fantastic two weeks, a recharge that I was long overdue. Um, and I think we've struck a really good balance of chilling out on the resort which has been beautiful and, and also hitting some excursions and, and seeing a bit of the island but there is much more of the island that we want to see isn't there so I'm looking forward to maybe on the 10 year anniversary or 25 year anniversary coming back and, uh, and doing a bit more of Mauritius because it's a beautiful country, wonderful people and that's my yeah. thoughts. I'm pleased that we went with such an exclusive sort of country to come and visit for our honeymoon because it just makes it it just makes it so that, like Dan said, when we do hit like 20 years or 30 years that hopefully we're still fit and healthy enough and then if we do start a family our children will be old enough for us to be like, right, this is our time, we're going to go, we're off. We're off. <laughs> we're gonna go <laughs> celebrate the fact that we've been able to stay married to one another for such a, a long duration. So it's definitely somewhere that I would like to come back to. But since it's got like a special meaning to us, it means that we definitely will come back at some point. Um, there's so much on this little tiny island to do um, that we've literally got um, a list of things that we would want to tick off for next time. So, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. We're both sad that it's come to an end and that we've got to leave. But it's just been really, really nice. Like the people here are so friendly. Um, they do speak English and they speak French. So I don't know any French, but Dan kind of remembers a little bit. So he's been able to sort of managed to have like <laughs> half a conversation yeah. with this old guy in the pool, and I surprised myself with how much I remembered. <laughs> but yeah, it's been it's been decent, hasn't it? It's been lovely. It's been absolutely wonderful. Obviously, there is a bit of rain because. That's We're on a what tropical happens. island. Um, but when it has rained, it's not rained for long and it's still always been really warm. Yeah. It's just been really lovely. Such a nice recharge. Um, my low point of the holiday yeah, low point and high point, go for it. is catching a cold from Dan. Dan originally caught his cold from the lady sat next to him on the plane. So it was our second plane that we had to catch, the one from Dubai to here. And there were just so many people on that um, who were coughing around us. And I said to Dan, I really hope we don't end up falling ill and his immune system is as good as his mum's so <coughs> literally the day after he'd caught it I managed to go a week before I had it and then I've got it um, someone who never takes any medication he used up like a full pack of use up a full pack used half a pack he used up so much paracetamol and ibuprofen um, 
and I can't stand having a headache so as soon as we get to the airport on our way home I'm heading straight for a pharmacy but yeah that's the low point getting ill my low point was probably the travel here uh, um, yeah. in fact no probably now now's my low point I've <laughs> just proper fuming that we're going home but no I think the travel here <coughs> with the delay and stuff it took about 30 hours so I think that was a long old journey weren't it um, it was definitely worth it though. Yeah. Like there were some points when I was thinking like, oh my god, we've got what this much travelling. Yeah. Like, is it is it actually worth it? And yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. High so, point. High point for me was definitely seeing the dolphins and the turtles out in their natural habitat. Yeah. It was just a lovely experience. I felt so lucky to have been able to see them on that day because obviously it's nature. It's never guaranteed. But we did see them, and I just, I just felt really um, grateful. Yeah, grateful, grateful that they were there, and that I got to see them so close. Um, I didn't jump in to the water. I felt like I didn't really want to intrude and scare them off. Like other people had that like one-to-one -one experience, they got up really up close and personal. But for me, I just felt like I didn't, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to see them. In their in their natural doing what they yeah, to. Yeah. yeah. So that was the high point for me. High point for me, monkeys. <laughs> Proper love seeing the monkeys and probably the dolphins and the sea turtle as well. Just kind of seeing nature in its in its own environment. I think, like you say, you feel feel grateful for seeing it. But I got quite emotional. After I'd seen the monkeys, I had a bit of a tear in my eye. I don't, I don't know why. I just felt I just felt really lucky. Yeah. to be here and, and seeing stuff and it, it means for me it's like all the hard work that we put in through the week and just as daytime jobs and as personal life and just all like the, the tests that you get put up against which is not unique to us everybody has them yeah I think the, you the just tiny sacrifices yeah. you make financially like to be able to come out here and enjoy it and, yeah. and then to have those moments which like like I've just said nature isn't guaranteed you can't guarantee that that animal's going to be there on the day yeah. they just do whatever they feel like just feel it really just, lucky yeah yeah so. and like I say just like you say the little sacrifices and all, all the hard work that we put in every single day of his lives it's just like yeah that's that's worth it it makes it a little bit easier going back to <laughs> the grind <laughs> because we'll, we'll just be planning know, the next I one <laughs> but we've rambled on more than enough um if, you, if it's not come across we have had a fantastic honeymoon and can't wait for his next holiday together but this is the start of our life as mr and mrs pearson so what have i done yeah no need to look so enthusiastic <laughs> about it <laughs> but we hope we've captured enough of mauritius for you guys to get a flavor of what we've what we've had this last two weeks and maybe it convinces you to come and visit this wonderful country and the wonderful people in it as well um, so yeah if you have enjoyed the five videos that we've put together stick a big thumbs up on them go and watch them comment in the section down below subscribe if you haven't already head over to mrs 18 dapper we'll have to change that yeah so miss 18 dapper at the minute um subscribe to you because you'll be doing a few bits and pieces of your lookbook for this um holiday what do you know? so i did decide to put that. together a lookbook um but Dan was my cameraman, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see what, what clips I've got, because I haven't, I haven't looked through them. So, yeah, yeah, we've got a lot of clips to edit, so yeah, looking forward to putting it together. Hopefully you guys all enjoy it. Uh, and I'm going to leave you with the picture and the image that has blown my mind and taken my breath away every single morning. I've gone, look at that view, isn't it nice? Mm. So, let's end it with that. Okay. Gonna miss it.